So when we're doing these, we can just keep all the multiplying pieces on top. So I'm just going to keep this as one fraction. So that's a times 3. So that just stays on top. Times 7 times 3. It's really important that we do not put this 3 into the denominator because it's a multiply by 3. Multiply only goes on top. So on the bottom, we only have divide by 4, divide by 5. There doesn't seem to be any common factors here, so we're going to go 3 times 7 times 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 times 3 is 63. And divide by 4 times 5 is 20. So again, we when we look at multiplying fractions, it's just times on top. So 1 times 1 times 1. I'm keeping all the multiplication on top. I'm keeping all the divides on bottom. Okay. I can simplify this because 8 and 2 share a common factor. So I'm going to get rid of those 1s and I'm going to just write 8 as 4 times 2. And then we have 3 times 2 times 3. These cancel out, so I end up with 4 over 9 as my simplified fraction. And again, I know that these are simplified fractions because I've gotten rid of the common factors on top and bottom. When I have this complex fraction, it's way easier to write this as a mixed number. So I'm going to do 2 minus, and I'm going to convert this 3 and a half into 7 halves. And I'm going to convert this here into plus 2 over 2. Okay, so 1 becomes 2 over 2. I'm just going to highlight that. So this 1 becomes 2 over 2. And the 3 and a half becomes 7 over 2. I'm going to get a common denominator for the 2 as well. So the 2 becomes, I'm going to do a times 2. I'm going to do a times 2 divide by 2. So that's going to keep it the same. And so I end up with 4 over 2, that's my common denominator, minus 7 over 2, and a big divide here. I have 1 half plus 2 halves. I'm just going to do that part. I'm going to have 3 halves, 3 over 2. Okay, so the next step, I'm going to add the numerators or subtract the numerators. So I end up with negative 3 over 2 divide by positive 3 over 2. Now, we could, we, we should understand that 3 over 2 fits into 3 over 2 once, and since there's a negative here, the answer should be negative 1. We could also just do the divide. So we're going to change that divide into a time. So maybe I'll just color code this. Actually, I'll do it this way. So this divide here becomes the times here and when we do that instead of dividing by 3 over 2 we have to multiply by the reciprocal 2 over 3 and so we end up with negative 6 over positive 6 which is negative 1 so this works out to be negative 1 and from here we could probably see that that's going to work out to be negative 1 because this is a ratio of 3 halves to 3 halves that's a ratio of 1 to 1 then so with fractions, we definitely want to get rid of these mixed numbers. The mixed numbers make it complicated because there's an actual plus in here that is implied. And we have to remember that. So I'm going to change that improper the mixed number into an improper fraction. I'm going to keep this as divide for now until I work this out. So I'm going to have a common denominator of 6, so times 3 times 3 and then combining those I get 1 half 1 6 plus 3 over 6 and I'm going to work that out before I flip that fraction we don't want to flip it with the top plus here because this is no longer times divide math we have to worry about this we can't do the opposite opposite until we have a multi uh, just times and divide involved so we end up with 4 over 6. Now I can flip this fraction. 9 over 2 times 
the reciprocal, so we do the opposite opposite, 6 over 4. We have some common factors involved here, so I'm going to write this as 9 over 2 times 2 times 3 over 4. These 2's cancel out. There's no other common factor, so we end up with 27, 9 times 3, top times top, bottom times bottom, gives us 27 over 4.